am at a most unusual festival. I am surrounded by lilies. It's the Lily Market slash festival, and I'm with Ken, the owner. And Ken, I don't know of many places that sell this many lilies. You're very lucky here. Yes, we are, and uh, we're the only festival west of the Mississippi River oh, wow, in the wow. United States. And I can see that because so. this is just amazing. The color's a little early this year, but oh, the colors are fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, I, once again, I call them the happy flower because <laughs> they're, they're always smiling and they make people smile when they see them. That is true. And so many different colors and different shapes, mm -hmm. different heights. So yep. really you have some for almost any kind of a garden these days. Yes, yes we do. You can, you can plant the um, miniatures or the semi-miniatures such as lollipop along your sidewalk or along another small plant or something like that. And then you can do the, the tall one like Red Sensation or the other ones. Uh, the new one here is pretty much the same size. You can plant those in the back of something small. and they just make everything pop uh, when, they, when they're in bloom. And so when we're here, we can kind of see what they look like, see that actual color, and then get a pot to take home, which right. is so great. Uh -huh. So then how do we take care of them once we get them home? Well, what we'd like to have our people do is uh, dig the hole about a little larger than the pot and a little wider, and then put in some uh, potting mix, which we sell here that's been developed specifically for lilies and uh, plant that cover it up and then water give it a little bit of water and just uh, let it go through the to the um, the rest of the summer all oh, right right sure <laughs> the rest of the summer and uh, don't over water them uh, I tell people just water them once a week so you don't want to plant them somewhere where there's going to be standing water or the you're you're watering your lawn maybe Every day, you don't want to do right. that, otherwise the bulb rots. And then if I want to cut them to take them in, because they're such a great cut flower, do I want to leave some of the foliage to kind of nourish that bulb for yeah, next year? Yeah, you want to leave about uh, four inches above ground when you cut the uh, stem for the uh, bouquet. And uh, that's, that's it. You can leave them in, in the ground over winter here, as long as, it's not, as long as they're not planted somewhere where it's going to remain wet over the winter. That's the main thing. Yeah. And really when we come out, we can pick up potted um, plants too, but you also have bouquets for sale. Yes, which we are do. just amazing. Yeah, yeah they, they are. My wife puts those together and she does a fabulous job on those. So Ken, the festival is kicking off this weekend. So how long is it going for? What are the hours? Uh, the hours are 10 till 5 and uh, this, the first week is Saturday through Sunday. And then after that, it's Thursday through Sunday, 10 to 5. Ah. Well, really, there's plenty of time to come up because it'll be lasting for a couple more weeks until the flowers are all bloomed out? Yeah, uh, approximately one month. Um, some of these we got in late, so they may go a little, little longer. But uh, generally what I tell people is we're going to we'll update the website, which Perfect. is lilyflowerfest.com. Uh, when we know for sure what, what the last day is going to be, or the road signs, when those road signs are gone, then we're, we're done. Ah. Well, you know, going to the Garden Time website, and then we'll click over to that website, and you can get the up-to-date information to come out and enjoy all of these lilies, but to always take them home for your own enjoyment. Thanks so much, Ken. Yeah, thank you very much for coming out.